So I threw some wheel spacers on the M550i just to see how it would look. Uh, I wanted to get a more flush look on the side of the car. I think the wheels kind of, it has a good fitment right now. Um, and they're only 12, mil 12 millimeter in the front, 15 millimeter in the rear. And I'm just not happy with how it affected the performance of the vehicle. Uh, I'm pretty sure I lost about a m one mile per gallon on my on my fuel economy. And really all it takes to do that is this car's got air vents go through here, through the front. They come out here and it's supposed to allow uh, air to travel around the vehicle. And then the air goes in here and comes out here. Now, basically what I did was reduce the effectiveness of that, uh, which helps with brake cooling. Now, and that does have other vents further back, like right there for brake cooling. But uh, I, I lowered my, miles, my MPGs because now the air is coming along the side of the car and catching the tire where it wasn't before. So that's, that's blocking a lot more wind on the highway, uh, effectively going to make my car slower uh, at highway speeds. Um, not only that, but the car feels different under braking and under turning. So, uh, not only, you know, all of that and on, just for what might be an almost unnoticeable difference, uh, in the way the car looks. So I'm going to pull those back off there, but, uh, I only had them on there for a short time. Uh, and yeah, just, uh, even that small amount, not really happy. These cars are BMWs. Any performance car really are engineered. Uh, a lot of engineering work goes into the suspension geometry of the vehicle and the aerodynamics and all that. And I'm just really not trying to screw that up. Um, they did a good job. So uh, I guess the way I found that out was just I wanted to do a little research and see if that was if those small wheel spacers I got on there. They're only 12 millimeter. You probably can almost you can barely even see them. I'm like, man, could those things be affecting this really that much? Well. Turns out they are. So I find it really interesting that if you uh, do a quick Google search uh, about wheel spacers and if they affect your car's suspension at all or or uh, make your car ride lower or, or anything like that, uh, the first result that pops up is no, wheel spacers don't affect that. Uh, I find that really interesting because they actually do affect that and it can be explained pretty easily. So if you think of a lever as your your control arm on your suspension uh, that control arm has a specific length okay think of that as a lever that's acting on your on your shock absorber on your dampers uh, adding a wheel spacer increases the lever arm which will therefore although your vehicle weighs the same it increases the lever arm that's acting on that shock absorber therefore decreasing the effectiveness of the shock making the shock seem softer even though it's not, because it has a longer lever arm acting on it. So your car's gonna handle different, differently under braking, it's gonna handle differently over bumps and around corners, it may feel softer, uh, and therefore, anytime there's any sort of, uh, the, the vehicle's in motion, it could be potentially riding lower uh, anytime there's any sort of force on the car. So that's gonna change the wear pattern on your tire, it's gonna make it not handle favorably around corners, um, in most situations on a stock vehicle. So don't listen to what Google says. Uh, do your own research, use your head, and take the wheel spacers off.